This episode of The Dr. E Show is brought to you by the 30 Day Super Wellness Challenge. Commit to just five minutes a day of powerful self-care tools to supercharge your energy and upgrade your life. Visit superwellness.com slash 30 day for more information. Together, let's make 2019 your year. Hello, this is Dr. Edith Ubuntu Chan. Welcome to The Dr. E Show, a show exploring the frontiers of our human possibilities in areas like health and wellness, science and spirituality, quantum biology, and conscious living, so that together we can awaken the best of ourselves and create our most joyful and fulfilling lives. Now is the season when many of us are reflecting on the gifts and lessons learned from the past year and setting new intentions for the upcoming one. We wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for being part of our community of pioneers. As our special gift to you, we compiled some of our favorite highlights from recent guests of the Dr. E Show. Timeless wisdom that will support you in taking your life to the next level. First. Let's hear from the 26 times Guinness World Record holder, Wim Hof, the Iceman. Yes, once you are able to tap into the deepest, you become confident. You become full of confidence. And that, uh, that, that shines off. That shines off. People come to you and they love you because you are so confident. Yes, I am the quality everybody has. But uh, I went past this drive of mine that there is more than meets the eye i jeopardized or looked like jeopardizing my uh, uh, physical body within all these crazy stunts that i did and they were really not so crazy I, I mean i think the society is a lot more crazy than the stunts i did and live you know they're in like a half a zombie that that's not me i cannot do that i think that's really dangerous for the soul you have to trust uh, deeply uh, trust uh, within and then uh, you find out uh, that uh, for uh, uh, this environmental stress like ice and and going into these extremes in the desert on the mount everest and all uh, that that uh, you know, it's much more tangible it's there where i learned to stand with two feet on the ground again to embrace completely what everybody thought of was crazy and paranoid and uh, 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 very dangerous and you become very uh, uh, with a lot of anxiety when you do those things i was most peaceful over there and then i get into society there i see anxiety there i see stress there i see disease coming coming and going and nobody has control now everybody just keeps on going and thinking okay and they have no control and all that i think that's very dangerous for the soul and i bring now uh, beyond any speculation through the science what i found in nature there i have learned to stand both with the mind and the body on the, firmly on the ground and that's why I was able to do all, all those things in full trust. And now it, it comes through the science. That's blood proof. It all it meets the unexpected. It meets, it, it shows uh, answers where they had only questions. And uh, uh, we go past perceived limits of both of science and whatever people were thinking. And it's time that this paradigm shift is coming. We have to go home within ourselves. It's all there and it's for everybody the same thing. Happiness, strength, and health. The soul is there. That's us. Final question, and maybe the most important question of all. After all these experiences of your amazing life, if you could just distill it down to one simple essence, one piece of advice, how can we reach our next level of human possibility? What is the most important thing we should know? Yes. Uh, you are the owner of your own beautiful mind. And because it sounds a little bit poetic and uh, philosophical, 
that's why I went through science. So you own your own mind, which is beautiful and which is powerful. It has become, and it is time you do it. And once again, there is no speculation. There's a lot of work to do. And we do it right. And uh, great. Good job. Yay. Thank you so much. Good job, everybody. Keep on. Woo. Yeah. Right on. Wow. How beautiful was that? Now, let's hear from Kelly Noonan Gores. She's the director of the number one best selling documentary, Heal, which is by far one of my favorite documentaries ever on mind body healing. It features some of the greatest luminaries of our time, including Deepak Chopra, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, Marion Williamson, Joe Dispenza, Michael Beckwith, Anita Morgiani, and so many more. Here's a highlight from our conversation with Kelly. As you know, this show is about exploring the frontiers of our human possibilities. What is the one single biggest piece of advice you have for our audience as we journey into our next level of human possibilities? I love, I, you know, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about it in his, in his teachings now. He just wrote a book, um, Becoming Supernatural. Yeah. He, he talks about, you know, exercising our mind to go beyond what we think is possible. So, you know, we have these kind of societal and cultural, oh yeah, there it is. So we have these societal kind of parameters and conditioning and beliefs of what is possible or not. Mm -hmm. And I just encourage everybody to keep pushing beyond, go, go 10% beyond what, what is accept it as possible. Keep exercising that muscle and that vision of beyond possibility. You know, don't, if you have this passion in your heart, don't take no for an answer. Like I always love this powerful example of Roger Bannister breaking the four minute mile. You know, it was just, you know, or the earth is flat, you know, until you discover that it's not, it's, it, you know, people label it impossible. But Roger Bannister, you know, he was determined to break the four minute mile. And he finally did because no one thought it was humanly possible to run faster than four minute mile. And within like three months, 20 other people broke it too, because he had broken that, shattered that paradigm, shattered that belief. So to really, you know, if you catch yourself limiting, you know, yourself or going, I can't do that, or that's not possible, go question, you know? Is it possible? Start to open, start to exercise that muscle and, and see what creative solutions come, you know? Like, I just, we're, that we live, as Joe Dispenza says, we live in a world of infinite possibility, you know? Um, if a doctor gives you a prognosis, they have zero, they're, they're going on, like there's so much more is possible than that one um, scenario or that average common scenario. So go beyond what's possible break, shatter the limits, shatter the paradigm, break your four minute mile. And, uh, you'll, you'll be amazed at what kind of unfolds. Wow. Thank you so much for that amazing conversation, Kelly. Thank you. And thank you to all of your community as well. And, um, you're amazing. You're a light, your energy just like is infectious. And, uh, you're, a, I just, I love your book. Wow, and, yay. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's just so aligned with the film. So thank you for all the work you're doing and I and, uh, hope to meet you in person soon. Thank you. Speaking of breaking paradigms, now let's hear from the pioneering scientist, Dr. Gerald Pollack. Dr. Pollack is a bioengineer from University of Washington and author of The Fourth Phase of Water. His research into the fascinating new science of water has mind-blowing implications for our health, biology, and the future of our planet. Here's Dr. Pollack. I'd love to ask you the most important question that I ask all of our special guests, which is that this show is really about exploring the frontiers of our human possibilities. And to me, you are a pioneer amongst pioneers. You're so humble and so kind and so generous with your time, but I just want to say I have just I have no words to describe how much I appreciate your presence on this. Well, planet. Thank you so much. What is your number one advice to our audience about awakening our fullest human potential? Oh, you do ask difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, um, I, I guess I would have to come come down on um, truth seeking 
finding truth, genuine truth, wherever that might might lie. There, there's a tendency for people to to reflexively reject ideas that don't fit into the accepted paradigm. So the, the response is, if, it, if we can't explain it very easily, it must be wrong. A lot of the people who are studying consciousness in South China, just now reading a preview of the a book that's coming out by Dean Radin, entitled Real Magic. <laughs> and he, he, he talks about this, this theme that um, there, there are so many experiments that have been done, but if, if a person is, is not open to even considering uh, the results of these experiments, we, we don't get anywhere because, because there, there, there's no gain. And so, so by committing ourselves to truth-seeking, which means opening ourselves to, to phenomena that we don't, seem to, we don't seem to have an explanation today for it, we're going to gain a lot, and the gain for humanity will be tremendous. Right now, most of us feel too comfortable in our in our, our own niche of uh, in our own belief system, and we don't we don't open ourselves to what may turn out to be um, interesting truths. So, so my advice, if you will, is is that doing this is is critically important, and it's true not only in the scientific realm but every realm. Um, you know, looking to find the absolute truth. It's like the political system also, you know, the left doesn't listen to the right, the right doesn't listen to the left, and we get nowhere. And so without an openness to, to considering our, our values and, our, our, and the truth and what makes sense, we're not going to get anywhere. So that would be, that would be my advice. Um, <laughs> I love to add to what you said, that all those practices you said that enhance easy water, are also the same effortless way to shift our consciousness to that more flexible, peaceful, non-confrontational, open-minded state. Absolutely. What they call the meditative state. Yeah. Not everybody knows to meditate, but grounding, earthing, sunshine, hugs, all these practices that enhance easy water also seem to overlap a lot with the meditative state. Oh uh, yeah, uh, which our minds start to open, and then we can explore and seek the truth that we're looking for. I'm right with you. That was brilliantly put. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. So there's layers and layers of contribution to the work that you're doing that I think will we can't even fathom the results if we actually put into practice some of your advice that you're recommending. Well, thank th- thank you so much, Edith. Uh, yeah, uh, for your really compelling presence and wonderful questions. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jerry. In addition to Dr. Gerald Pollack, we also had the great honor of speaking with another legendary scientist, Dr. Konstantin Korotkov. Using his background in quantum physics, computer science, and optics, Dr. K has spent the last 30 plus years researching such fascinating topics as consciousness, sports performance, telepathy, quantum biology, the energy of space, life after death, medicine and healing, ancient civilization, and the new science of water. Dr. K is best known as the inventor of GDV, the gas discharge visualization technology, also known as the BioWell machine, which allows us to measure and see subtle energy fields. Here's the legendary Dr. Konstantin Korotkov. We are light beings. We are created by light. Only due to light we exist and we emit light. And if we see our energy, if we see that we are not just primitive, then we understand how we need to live in our life. After so many decades of studying so many different topics, if you were to just distill down to one simple principle for us, one most important piece of advice for us to have the best life possible to tap into our next level of human possibilities, what would that one piece of advice be? Uh, you see, first of all, we need to accept life as tremendous adventure. And like in, in all adventures, like in all travels, we have positive moments, we have negative moments. So we need to understand this. Life is not just for pleasure, for fun. Life gives you a lot of wonderful presents, but at the same time, a lot of disappointments. 
So you don't need to be afraid of this. Second, you need to be open, open-minded to everything. And you need to look around. Our society is changing tremendously. Every decade, every year, we have something new, we have new understanding. That is why we need to be open to new information and we don't need to be afraid. Believe in universal love. Believe in your friends, in your relatives, in people around yourself. And try to make little steps just around yourself. And then, step by step, it would generate a lot of interesting topics. Yeah, and you're a beautiful example of the magical life that is possible if you just listen to that guidance. Yes, that's possible. So if you if you open to the world, the world opens to you. That's the main principle. Wow, that could be a tattoo on somebody's arm right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Speaking of being open-minded, one of our most mind-opening episodes was with Mas Zajadi. After his second near-death experience, Moss awakened extraordinary abilities to help people tap into their spiritual blueprint. Today, he uses his ability to help people all around the world reprogram underlying patterns and frequencies, break free from old limitations, and transform their lives. Here's a highlight from our amazing conversation with Moss. The theme of our show is awakening to that next level of human possibilities. And this whole conversation has been beautifully aligned with all of that, of course. If you were to distill down to one tip, one piece of advice for us to open to that next level of human possibilities, what is the one takeaway that you most want us to know? Uh, yeah, so that one takeaway is not to escape the reality of where you are, but really understand where you are. Uh, and that's not like being happy with where you are but just really understand say where you are exactly at this point of time uh it's like a gps signal it allows you to understand where you are and then it's the fastest way of getting out of where you are so that takes a lot of courage it takes a lot of courage to be that honest with yourself and go hey my life sucks and then not be <laughs> mental about it you know what i mean if they, it's like okay it sucks what do i do to get going yeah it's not escaping it. It's not being happy. It's not escaping into your happy place. It's just like, boom, uh, an inventory of where your life is. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that amazing conversation. You guys, I hope you learned a ton from Moss. And please do check out his website and his podcast. I think if you enjoyed this conversation, you're going to be blown away by the treasure trove of awesomeness that is on his website awaiting for you. Yes, it takes tremendous courage to be fully present, to meet life's challenges and not run away from them. But as we learned from Karen Buxman, one of the best medicines to help us face or even embrace life's challenges is using humor. Karen is a world-renowned neurohumorist. She studies the interaction between humor and our neurobiology and how we can all use humor and laughter to awaken our highest human potential. Here's a great gem from our conversation with the one and only Karen Buxman. If you could distill it down to one single piece of advice, what is the most important key we should know about tapping into our highest level of human possibility? Really, the one thing is the reframing. The one thing is that perspective because we do have a choice. Um, I loved the quote by Viktor Frankl who wrote Man's Search for Meaning. And if any of your people have not read Man's Search for Meaning, that's one of the top 100 books that I believe everyone would benefit from reading in their lifetime. But he said, between stimulus and response, there's a space. And in that space, lies our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our happiness. What do we put between that stimulus and response? We do have a choice. And my humble opinion is that if we intentionally choose to put humor in that space, that it will change our lives. It'll allow us to be more successful it will enable us to be more significant with others 
and it will allow us to experience greater happiness. Wow. Thank you so much for that amazing conversation, Karen. And You're welcome. My pleasure, Dr. E. It blew my mind and burst in my heart open and just realizing that sometimes we make life unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> Isn't that funny how we do that? Yeah. And then when, when some of the most powerful, potent, world-changing solutions are this simple, cultivating a sense of humor, seeing life with the eyes of humor. Yeah. One of our most popular episodes this year was with breatharian Qigong master, Ellie Tom el -Amin. Our conversation with Ellie Tom was filled with wisdom, humor, laughter, and surprise. Here's Ellie Tom. We got the physical body, everybody can relate to that, the mental body, the emotional body, the spirit. We separate it, but in reality, it's all one. It's all one. And the fun part is, when you're dealing with your thought process, where you're doing goals in life, where you're creating things, mm -hmm. back when you didn't know this knowledge of that you are a light being by your nature, you put in so much effort into doing things, and that made it a drag. And there's a lot of people who never fulfill uh, a lot of things they really like to do. Uh, there's a lot of people who will never find their purpose here. And when you're on this path, you start learning your purpose. And you really start having now the time and the energy to complete things you really want to do. That's what makes it fun. And mm -hmm. it takes little effort because our thoughts are electrical, magnetic. And when you put these thoughts out through a clean vessel, you'll see things that you really want to create and do come to you at an instant <laughs> and it's really great this will make some fun no effort you're one you're in tune you're in alignment and this is what start taking place so of course you don't want to go back to that old lifestyle of so much survival so much fear-based frequency that comes with that frequency this other frequency has a lot of joy happiness uh a lot of ease and then again like we said when you take a lot more stress out of your physical body, your emotional body, or your mental body, mm -hmm. that brings more light into the body. So that's actually the definition of a breatharian, a stress-free person. <laughs> so our very last question, the most important question of all, is if you were to distill down to one single piece of advice, what is the single most important advice you have for those of us that are on the journey of tapping into our next level of possibility, what's the number one most uh, important thing? Be easy on yourself. So I don't even say love yourself because everybody got different definitions. Always be easy on yourself, which is loving yourself. And back to my uh, quote, the universe is user friendly. Use that as a mantra. It's, a, it's here to help you. Awesome. Our most recent episode featured Brazilian author, yoga teacher, and vegan activist, Obram Silva. Obram had just come out of a 21-day meditation retreat completely off the grid with total silence, stillness, and fasting. Wow, what a special treat it was to learn from Obram just five days after he returned from this powerful initiation. Here's Obram present moment here and now it's always with us but we escape <laughs> so yeah it was a very profound experience maybe in some ways after a deep experience like that the real process starts in how to bring this more consistently into our day-to-day -day life how to start and end each day remembering that essence and cultivating the ability to bring that essence into the bank, into the traffic jam, into all the transactions <laughs> of life. That's the really advanced work, actually, mm -hmm. you know? I understand that the word discipline, our ego doesn't like, but it's something really meaningful, really beautiful, and makes us free. So discipline to me 
it's liberation. It's not jail. So when I wake up in the morning and sit in the place where I meditate every day, I go into a paradise. I'm not going to a war. Yes. And when I am in the bank, when I driving, I always try to remember, you know, that sensation that is not so far. It's just a few hours. So I remember that feeling and when I start to remember, it's incredible. My, my breath start to be deep. It's automatic. I start to remember and when I breathe, everything change. Yes. I am somebody that you will never see anger because I know the bad consequence that I do to my body, to my emotions and to the planet. So, but to have this control, I need to remember the paradise inside of me and this beautiful soul that I am. <laughs> and this maybe is ego saying, oh, my soul, it's beautiful. No, when we recognize the soul in other people as the same soul that you are, you see people as a very beautiful people. Even the appearances comes angry or sad, you can see beautiful people. And then you say namaste in a very meaningful way. As we learn from all these world-class experts and pioneers, we see a big theme emerging. Our guests are all teaching us that the most important and timeless principles in life are really so simple. Here's a highlight from our awesome conversation with world-class movement and fitness coach, Charlie Reed. That some of the most potent and powerful self-care and self-healing tools are those really so simple, mm. so obvious that we don't put any value to it because it's totally free. Right. But actually some of the most potent and powerful tools and strategies for taking care of our health and well-being are those really simple foundational things that we skip. And we tend to think something, if it, there's an app for it, if it's more sexy, fancy, expensive, that it must work better. But actually my experience, the opposite is true a lot of times. That's so great. That's so great. My, one of my favorite strength coaches, his name is Mark Verstegen, and he says, uh, the best do simple things savagely well. And, savagely well. Yeah. Awesome. And if you and if you look at all the best coaches, I would argue this in, in any field or any endeavor. Like you said, it's the simple things that are just done savagely well over time. You know, if you look at the best athletes, oftentimes you'll go to Instagram and sometimes you'll see their workouts. Like, well, oh, that's not nothing special or whatever. But you're not seeing all parts of what's going on there. And you're not seeing that it really is the simple things that make you better over time, you know. Um, I love that. I love that about meditation. I love that, it, that it's such a simple thing, but it's so powerful, so powerful over time, you know. Joint mobility. Like, you're not going to notice right away when you rotate all your joints, but it's like putting one penny in the bucket every day. And if you did it for a year every day, I guarantee you're going to feel, like, phenomenal in your body. But and if you do it across years, you have a completely different physiology and a completely different life. Yeah, you're a totally different body at that point. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, my last question is this. If you could wave a magic wand, you could gift us one gift, hmm. one superpower. What would that be? Uh, I would say, uh, I would say you are enough. I'll start with that. I would say confidence, confidence is a huge part of that. And people should really be uh, confident in their incredible ability to accomplish amazing things. And uh, I don't think we have enough of that message out there too. You know, we're always looking at what we're bad at or what we could be striving to get, but 
respecting how awesome you already are and how like you're the result of billions of years of evolutionary success and you, you're here now built on the you know shoulders of giants so yeah you just have to tap into it that was so awesome charlie thank you for this wonderful conversation i hope you guys loved joining us for this delicious exploration into bio nurturance versus biohacking into the idea that a lot of times in life, less is more. Simplicity is the key in today's crazy world where we're constantly bombarded with more and more different distractions. Sometimes to find that truly rewarding and fulfilling life, really simplifying things down and having patience for getting the most juice out of life from the most simplest basic practices. The power of restoring the fundamentals was also a big theme in our conversation with DMT researcher John Chavez. John is known for coining the term endowaska. It's this idea that we can consciously create the DMT or ayahuasca awakening experience from the inside out instead of from the outside in. Fair warning, there's a little bit of adult language in this clip, so if you've got little ones around, please grab your headset now. After all these years of researching and also your own personal experiences, what do you feel is the number one key? This is my last question. If you're to just give us the one single biggest piece of advice for us to level up and step into our next level of human possibility, what's your number one advice for us? Well, I'm going to break it because I'm going to put two and it's breathing and shitting. <laughs> you have to get those right. Yeah, you have to. Uh, the gut brain is no joke. There's been a lot of DMT found in the stool. So we believe that much like melatonin levels are like 400 times higher in the gut than they are in the pineal gland, which is the most famous for producing it. We actually produce most of the, the melatonin in the gut. And I think the same goes for DMT. So we're going to access that and possibly reabsorb some of that goodness rather than just, you know, have it go out with our shit. Mm. Then uh, we're going to have to maybe get into optimizing our digestive function and, you know, get into some breathing states because I didn't know about all this stuff before, but Edith, you put me on this, was that the breathing plays a big role in your digestion and actually helping getting the thing moving, peristaltic action. So it's, it's multi-pronged, and that's what I'm saying. I'm breaking it with two, but it's actually one because it goes back to getting the gut right, but it, it goes with the breathing. So, yeah, I'm not going to give you any tips because I'm not a medical practitioner. Edith can give you all the health tips in terms of optimizing your gut function, but however you do it, optimize your digestion and your, your respiration, taking deep breaths. It's a step in the right direction for sure. That's so fascinating because in the original text of Chinese medicine, the lung and the large intestines was considered one contiguous organ system. Mm. Later on, they started breaking it into the yin and the yang, the two, two halves of it, but it was, it's all part of one element of the human physiology. So you're really onto something there. Yeah, it's exciting times because uh, I think a little by little disease, while you know, some perspectives thinks that it's getting more and more complex, right? More labeling a disease and, and more markers to look at. There's a, a different train of thought where it's getting even simpler, right? Where we're actually optimizing these functions to actually give us a platform, a, a foundation for wellness and eventually maybe some spirituality and you know it's just it's, it's it's an exciting time based on your perspective nice thank you so much for that awesome conversation hope we can do it again when it comes to exploring the next level of human possibilities one of my all-time favorite researchers is austrian journalist and filmmaker peter arthur straubinger peter's the director of the paradigm busting documentary in the beginning there was light his film explores the phenomena of breatharianism, this idea that some people, such as certain yogis or qigong masters, may be able to live directly on qi, light, or prana, requiring very little or no physical food. Full disclaimer, Peter's research does not recommend anybody stop eating. Instead, it blows our minds open to new possibilities in quantum biology, mind-body interactions, and the magic and wonder of life. Let's hear now from Peter himself. What would be your number one advice to our audience? 
in awakening our highest human potential. Start meditating. If you don't do it already, start meditating. Just some form, not a special technique. With meditating, I really mean that you just be. You get uh, freed from your own thoughts and, and emotions and just experience your true being, your true inner being. And then all the coherence and all the good information is, is coming, coming up. There, there is this beautiful saying, if we are praying, we are talking to God. If we are meditating, God is talking with us. And that's the, the other way around. The information is the coherent and of course you can um, change God with transcendence or collective unconsciousness or whatever but the coherence the information is coming into us without uh, creating disorder with our thoughts so yes this would be my number one advice wow thank you for that amazing juicy interview that was incredible thank you so much peter so much yeah. gratitude for you thank you so much and thank you too Edith. that was wonderful wow what an incredible treasure trove of wisdom and life-changing insights if you miss any of the original episodes they can all be found on www.thedreshow.com that's the d-r-e show.com Thank you so much for supporting the first season of our show. And most of all, thank you for being a game changer and pioneer in our community. It's my honor to share this awesome adventure together with you. Hi friends, did you love that interview? If you did, please leave a review and share with all your friends so that many more people can benefit from these game-changing insights. You can also go onto our website, dredithubuntu.com, and subscribe to our newsletter, where you'll receive free trainings and next-level ninja tools that we only share on our newsletter. Together, let's turn your life into a brilliant masterpiece.